I had a pretty good night's sleep last night. I just slept in the back of my truck. And uh, I have my pack all ready to go. I'll probably be covering, I don't know, like seven miles or so today. But uh, the feeling of homesickness that I had yesterday, um, that's pretty much gone away. Now I'm just kind of uh, looking forward to getting down in the canyons down there and uh, see if I can find something to point my camera at. This is such a, a big, wild place, and there's so much down there, so so much potential. Now the weather, see back behind me, a little bit of clouds, not much. Um, just so long as I have a decent amount of sun, that'll be nice, but hopefully I'll be able to spend quite a bit of time down in the canyons, and as a result, I'll have some good opportunities. But looking forward to getting down there and uh, seeing what I can find. I've made my way down to the main river valley here and I've gone probably about I don't know like three miles or so so far but now I'm gonna hike downstream for quite a ways set up camp and uh, see what I can find So I went ahead and set up camp and also uh, purified three liters of water. And so all that sort of stuff is taken care of. So now I can kind of go out and explore this canyon. And this is a canyon that I visited last year and I didn't get a chance to shoot very much of it just because the weather wasn't really ideal, but now it's pretty good. Got a lot of blue skies up there, just a little bit of clouds, pretty calm wind. And uh, I had hiked up this part of the canyon last year and saw some really cool scenes with some trees and some desert varnish. So. I went ahead and set up a composition with my Intrepid 8x10 camera of the scene right back here. Um, so you got this really cool, nice curvy part of desert varnish there, cool stand of trees there, and uh, hoping it'll make a pretty decent shot. It's not a super strong reflected light just because there are some clouds that kind of filter some light down in the canyon. But it's always really good to get that first shot out of the way on a trip because it's like this psychological barrier where once I get past that, then I can just kind of start the process of scouting for subjects and exposing film. And I think I'm only going to expose a single sheet of film on this one because I do want to conserve film. Um, I only have uh, five film holders with me, which means I can shoot a total of 10 photos. And typically I shoot doubles. But in this case, if I shoot singles, I can shoot a lot more subjects. So it's just so nice down here. There's another really cool tree uh, further up the canyon that I'm gonna, gonna check out. It's one that I really wanted to photograph last year, but the light just wasn't really ideal for it. But we'll see, we'll see. I don't know if it's gonna be a kind of an afternoon or kind of more of a morning shot, but I got time. 
So it's about one o'clock in the afternoon and I hiked a little further up the canyon and set up a composition with my normal lens, a vertical composition of this one really cool tree that's growing in the canyon, a good form to it. It's right at the bend of a canyon. So it's got a um, really nice backdrop to it, but it's in harsh sunlight right now. And I really do have to wait for it to be more in uh, sort of subdued lighting, um, maybe a little reflected light, we'll see. But I just don't really know when that's gonna be. Uh, it could be later this afternoon. Uh, it could be tomorrow morning. Um, just, it's a little hard to figure out kind of where the sun's going from where I'm at right now. Uh, but definitely worth the wait. I also found a horizontal composition with my wide angle lens, so that could be good as well. But I usually try to shoot with my normal lens as much as I can, just because I like the perspective that it gives. But I'm taking this as an opportunity to kind of hang out, relax. I got my boots drying on a rock because I had to cross the river a couple times and uh, made myself some lunch here. I have a uh, chicken fajita bowl, so sounds delicious. And uh, we'll see what happens. So I've been staring at the same tree for about five hours now. And there's been moments of shade, there's been moments of sun, there's been moments of clouds. And right now it's kind of a mixture of everything. Uh, the top of the tree's in sun, uh, the rest of it's kind of in shade. There's a little bit of wind because there's some clouds going over. And I, I did expose a single sheet of Ektar, a uh, vertical composition and we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm still thinking reflected light might be best, but um, having it be kind of spotlit was kind of cool too, so. Two sheets of film so far today, not bad. It is currently 342, so getting a little closer to sunset. Still have a few hours to go, but I think it'd be cool to see what happens on this tree because it could very well give me an opportunity to expose a couple sheets of LVF 50, and you know how I like reflected light. So it clouded up a little bit, actually it clouded up a lot. It got really overcast and there's some really dark clouds that were, almost looked like it was gonna rain a little bit. So I decided to sort of give up on that particular photo because even if the clouds went away, which they did, um, I think the light just wasn't gonna bounce around in the canyon the right way for that shot. So I was gonna head back to camp, uh, make myself some dinner, uh, send a, message home to my wife with my GPS uh, messenger thing. But uh, I was walking through this wash and I saw this. So if you watch any of my videos in the past, you know that if I ever see a cool looking cottonwood tree set against a sandstone cliff in reflected light, the holy trinity of Benhorn Canyon photos, you gotta stop and shoot it. So that's exactly what I did. So I got my Intrepid 8x10 camera over there I used my normal lens and I exposed a uh, just one sheet horizontal composition. It fits really nicely into the frame. Uh, the wind was cooperating really nicely. It was only a two second long exposure. But uh, I think I might do one more sheet of film on this one just because it's a really cool scene and there's some clouds that are kind of slowly moving away and those clouds kind of kick a little more light into the scene where I'd rather it just be reflected light. But I got plenty of time because I don't have anything else to do. So here is the entire scene I'm shooting in. My normal lens on my 8x10 is gonna narrow things in just a little bit, but basically I'm just looking at this really interesting root system down here on the ground. And I'm just kind of ending the composition just a little bit beyond the right side there, and also to the uh, left side of that. And basically I just kind of walked around this tree until I found an area that the branches kind of looked really nice and kind of had a nice shape to it. There's also a way it kind of interacts with an area up in the background, uh, the sort of the sandstone wall back there, but pretty easy shot. Just a matter of being in the right place at the right time and having the right conditions. So I'd say I lucked out. All right. I'm shooting doubles on this scene. It's just, it's too, perfect of conditions right now to not shoot doubles. So here we go. Three seconds, F45. Just like that. Super calm wind. And uh, that is four sheets of film today on three different scenes. And I have no clue how the first two will turn out, but these ones are usually a little bit more predictable. 
feeling good about that. Not bad for the first day of a backpacking trip. camp now and uh, made myself some dinner. I just wanted to share my thoughts for the day. So it's always a little difficult going into these photo trips because you, know, you get so used to your life at home as far as, you know, going to work, coming home, having dinner, going to the gym, not in that order, but you know, um, just all that sort of stuff. And just, you know, hanging out with my wife and you know, binge watching our shows and stuff. And then you come out here and even though it's something I really enjoy doing, it's, it, there's a little bit of a shock to it because all of a sudden, you know, boom, there you are. So I always have a hard time adapting in the first couple of days of the trip. Um, yesterday definitely hit me kind of hard as far as kind of a homesick feeling, but uh, today a little bit as well, but I was also able to be productive, which was pretty good. Able to, you know, find some subjects and so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and, if, and actually, if it wasn't for the fact that those clouds came over around three o'clock or so when I was kind of waiting for the light for that one tree in the canyon, um, I probably would have just I probably would have just waited there and just kind of waited until the light completely went away. But as it turns out, me kind of folding things up and heading back towards camp and uh, seeing that one really cool cottonwood tree with pretty ideal light and uh, no real clouds anymore. I mean, it's a matter of really just. You know, being open to the opportunities around you. There's always something. There's always something to find. It's just a matter of being in that right frame of mind to um, to be able to kind of make good use of it. So, but it was a pretty pretty crazy day, pretty long day, and uh, just looking forward to it cooling down a little bit and crawling in my sleeping bag and getting some sleep. this ad-free content and want to help me live my dream. A voluntary contribution of just $24 a year helps keep my gas tank full and my film freezer stocked. For more information on how to support me and my work, please visit the donation section of my website at benhorn.com donate. I also have prints available on my website. You can find a direct link down below in the show notes. Thanks in advance for your support. <laughs>